If you've spent all summer dressed up with nowhere to go... Hello? Hello? Waiting. And waiting. And waiting for those wedding invitations that never arrived. Don't worry, you are not alone. Apparently, fewer of us are being invited to those big days than ever before. Because the number of weddings in the US is down, say researchers, and those that are getting married... They're much more particular with what they want now. It, that includes the guest list. Nine out of every 1,000 people in the US got married back in 1995. Now it is just under seven and expected to drop to below six by 2023. On top of that, the average wedding had 149 guests eight years ago, that number down to 141 last year. I've noticed people are tighter with their purse strings. Yeah, absolutely. The economic crisis hit weddings hard over the last decade and with the median cost around $14,000, lovers either want to spend less or just spend it elsewhere. They actually will spend for what they care about, so they also are redistributing. Um, and it just depends on their priorities, right? Which is what Kat and Brian are doing. Once we really started to plan, we um, kind of figured out what was important to us and then that led us to figure out what we wanted to spend on. Six weeks out from their big day, not a huge invite list. It was important to me to try and include as many people as possible, but, you know, we had to compromise and come to uh, our nice round number, so... <laughs> <laughs> but focusing on quality over quantity. What are the biggest things that you're spending money on? <laughs> Flowers <laughs> and, and dress. music. <laughs> no, actually, the dress was not as important to me. I know some brides like to spend a lot on the dress, but... Um, I think it was flowers, entertainment, making sure that our guests have a good time. There have been some other booms for the industry, like same-sex marriage, opening up the market even more. And of course, there is wedding tourism, which is both a big draw and a big deal. The top destination, if you couldn't guess, is Las Vegas. Um, and then we have Hawaii. A lot of foreigners think of these destinations as places that they could actually use to be married which means it is a huge moneymaker for the United States. One other group also doing well, the divorce lawyers. While the marriage rate is shrinking, we still see increases overall in the divorce rate. For Kat and Brian, that is a day that will hopefully never arrive. They're just excited about their upcoming nuptials. I've only just met you guys, but, you know, I've not been invited to a wedding all year. Please, can I come to yours? Sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. With one extra guest to pay for. After all... Everything comes to he who waits. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, Los Angeles.